on a beautiful day in Pigeon Forge, we're here to bring you where the locals go, and it could be the greatest of all time. You don't want to be sheepish. You need to get on down here because this is Local Goat New American Restaurant. Local Goat New American Restaurant is located at 2167 Parkway, right in Pigeon Forge. You'll know you're there because that parking lot always has a lot of cars, but don't let that scare you away. It's time to eat great. So let's go in, ladies first. As we step inside, you'll see the host stand as you enter. And then you've got your merch area, which has everything from goat's milk lotion, shirts and hats, and then even plush goats for the kids. Off to the side here is the full service bar area, which will fix anything that you like. And then you step into the main dining room, which does have window seating available. They have booths, and then they have half table, half booths, and full service tables as well. And we want you guys to stay tuned until the very end of the video, because coming up, We've got our local GOAT 5,000 subscriber giveaway to talk about. Are you my old GOAT? <laughs> I guess I am an old GOAT today. Well, you're my greatest of all time. Well, I'm a local GOAT. You are a local GOAT. <laughs> we are starting out with the fried green tomatoes. That's a four meal batter. excited to get in to these fried green maters y'all because of the goat cheese and the bacon jam and the caramelized onions I just think that's gonna be yummy flavor going on there. Just enough goat cheese to kind of give you that little zing of the goat cheese. The onions are really yummy and kind of that sweetness but savory of the bacon jam mixed with that tart of the green tomato. Very good. And then the cornbread dress, uh, cornbread dressing. Huh? <laughs> hey, he's going to be hard. I said dressing and not stuffing. I am. The cornbread breading. Cornmeal. Cornmeal breading is <laughs> perfect. Okay. So if I can get it out, I like <laughs> the fried green maters. Yes. Yummy. Okay, good deal. We have soups to start us out, and mine is the tomato soup with homemade bread. Who doesn't love a good tomato soup? And boy, does that look rich. Thick it does look and rich. yummy. Yes. You're a mater guy, so I know you're going to like the mater soup. Mm. And we got green maters. It's mater day. <laughs> Is it Mater Week again on Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun? I don't know, but we should do Mater Week again. Mm. We did Mater Week like last year. Mm -hmm. That is a that is such a good soup. I do want to try a little bit of the homemade bread. Look how nice that pulls apart. And that is freshly made bread here in house. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very good. And their breads, like I said, are made in-house daily. So the soup, does it have any spices that you can detect? So, the thing that I like the most about it is there's just a little bit of the cheese. There's garlic. You get a good garlic flavor in there. The basil, because that's basil on top. It's, uh, it's a nice soup, so it's, it's more like a tomato basil. But the garlic and the tomato really stand out in it, which two of my favorite flavors right there. Can't beat that combo. That's right. 
Christy has the smoked shrimp and crab bisque bowl. And now uh, you've got crackers with that, love. And of course, because it's a seafood soup, what kind of crackers do you have? Huh. Oyster. Oyster crackers. crackers. All right, I've got the smoked shrimp and crab soup, and I'm gonna go ahead and put those crackers in there. Give you a little bit of slow mo. Yes. All right, so I admit it. I have had this soup before. Yes. And they only do soups in a bowl. Um, so, yeah. It's a pretty good size. It's a good size. I, I know that I'm going to take a bite or two and then probably take the rest home for dinner. But I, I couldn't come to Local Boat without showing off this wonderful soup. <laughs> wow. Mm. How many mm. spoon twirls did you just do? Alright. Alright, so that's amazing. It really is. It's just amazing. It is so super creamy and you get all of the seafood taste that you like in there. There's even a um, little bit of chunks of the seafood in there. Not huge chunks, but they're in there. Now, it's um, smoked shrimp and crab, so do you get any smokiness at all? A little bit. Okay. A little bit, not like going to overwhelm you with the smokiness, but right. it's in there. Okay, so this very much, and it's not a New England clam chowder, yeah. but it is done in much the same way yes. as a New England clam chowder, and it is up there with some of the best of the best that I've ever had up in New York or anywhere. Oh, right okay, here in wow. Tennessee. Even though it's not a clam chowder, it is kind of close. So, right here. This is it. This is it. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Very I love this so much. Christy has the coleslaw and the shrimp. So, this is a burger Dwight would be proud of. It's a plant based one. So, she's going to give that a shot. It has sauteed mushrooms, caramelized onions, garlic aioli, and garlic. So, you are embracing your inner Dwight today, is that correct? I am. I Okay, for the record, Brooks is a huge fan of The Office. I am not, however. I can appreciate a Shroot Farms burger. So, Shroot Farms. Yeah, they're they're funny. It's a funny show. It's just um, I don't know. I can't. I don't really get the humor of it. Are you a fan of The Office? Leave a, a comment in the comment section. So I'm gonna try the coleslaw first. And the first thing I notice about this is is it looks like it's a vinegar base with mayo, and they have the celery seed in there, which to me is very important when you're making a good coleslaw. I'm a connoisseur of a good coleslaw. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. It's light because it's got the vinegar, the, the vinegar base, but it does have a little bit of creaminess in there where they're using mayo. It's sweet, but not over the top. And then I just love that, the, the flavor that the celery salt gives. And of course it's got the, um, you know, the carrots and onion and red cabbage and whatnot in there. So yeah, I actually really love the coleslaw here at Local Goat. Okay, good deal. All right, plant-based burger, guys. I'm actually going to cut off a little bit of the lettuce here. You're going to open that thing up? Yeah, a little too much lettuce for my preference. <laughs> I don't mind a little lettuce, but that's quite a bit. <laughs> Beautiful lettuce, I might say. Alright, so I decided to try the plant-based burger because I do like them. And, of course, it's better for you. It's also one of the gluten-free options here. And I love the mushroom, onion, the barbecue, and I'm sure the garlic aioli is awesome. The buns here are great. I know the regular burgers here at Logo Boat are great, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. <laughs> Hang on. I'll go in. Look at the forks. 
I'm flipping for us now. On the inside. Cut that thing in half and let's let's get a cross section of it. You can see it pretty good just like that. You can actually see it pretty good right there. Yeah. Wow. That is very good. And if I did not know better, I almost would not know that's plant based. Okay. Excellent flavor. Does it have a meaty texture? It does. Okay. And I'll let you try it and you can you can decide, but that's awesome. Wow. Okay. I didn't I almost don't know I'm not eating meat. Wow. Which is the key to a good plant-based burger. Absolutely. Um, mushrooms are great. Onions are great. The aioli just kind of takes it up. It's very rich. You, are you tasting any of the barbecue sauce in there? Yes. So it all does, ties together really that, nice. That's what I figured. I thought the barbecue with the garlic aioli would really And their buns. Mess. Their buns are awesome. Yes. yes. It's, they got beautiful buns here. Beautiful buns. <laughs> Today I have the grilled ahi tuna steak. That is a soy ginger pineapple glaze on the ahi tuna that is done medium with a loaded baked potato and sauteed spinach. I see you got one of your favorite things, a tater. A loaded baked potato. There's an art form to it, and I can already tell you that Local Goat has done this right. That's a good sized tater, too. It is. Look at that. It's extra cheesy. Yes. When you get it cheesy like that, that's, that's good stuff. Super melty. I'm excited for you to try the salmon, because, or not the salmon, the tuna, because it looks beautiful. The, the baked potato actually does not even need salt and pepper. It's just it's good. That good. Yeah. Sauteed spinach. Curious as to what the flavor is, if there's any kind of flavor with this. It, it definitely looks like there, there should be. I think I see a little piece of garlic floating around in there. tuna steak I did medium which for me is perfect look here now the glaze and everything on top it looks kind of nice it's beautiful is. that's a really pretty piece of tuna it is beautiful piece of tuna pineapple soy ginger glaze pineapple soy and ginger mash so well together so it normally does come with rice, which I was surprised he didn't get the rice, but that tater looks good too. That is an excellent piece of tuna. It's a really unique thing to get here in the Smokies, and I really love that. So, you know what though? I'm tasting more of the soy and ginger than I am the pineapple. The pineapple's kind of a faint note. But it's a very meaty piece of fish. It's very nice. All right, we're gonna go eat, and we'll be back in a second. Yeah. So I wanted to note some cool things about Local Go. For one, they are family-owned, local business, right here, small business, right here in the Smokies. And this restaurant itself, for casual dining, is ranked number five in the United States. I thought that was a pretty cool thing as well. Their food, everything is locally sourced. Uh, most of their brews are regionally and locally sourced, so that's cool. Their recipes, everything that's on the menu, comes from the owner and their kitchen, and it is all prepared fresh daily. That's desserts, sauces, dressings, homemade breads, and they opened in 2016 here in Fisher Forge. Uh, they've opened another one in Ottawa, which is down near Chattanooga in 2021. But 
the one here in Pigeon Forge, this used to be an O'Charlie's. They have really upgraded it since then because local goat is wonderful. They do get offer a 10% discount for uh, locals, military, and first responders with your ID, so that's cool to note too. And of course, they've got the gluten-free menu. Uh, it's a completely gluten-free menu, so if you've got dietary restrictions, you need things like that, you have that menu option as well. Uh, you just ask them, they'll bring out the menu for you, and then like I said, we're going to show you that too, but also, two things, the only two things that are not made in-house right here are the gluten-free buns and the plant-based burger, the burger itself. Those are the only two things that are not made, produced right here in-house. So when we say that you're getting fresh food, it truly is fresh. We have the creme brulee and look at the fresh strawberry, the artistry done with the fresh fruit there. So creme brulee. Creme brulee. Okay, so we would be remiss if we did not get the creme brulee and not only that, our daughter Emily would be very, very disappointed that we did not the creme brulee on film for you guys yes because this is her favorite so Very and that strawberry so. is just so pretty beautiful artistry so the, there the sugar shell on the outside is nice and crispy let's see that you can see it knocking there yes absolutely but of course they didn't burn it too much so that's how you know it's good well, look, go ahead and look on the inside here of the you can see the vanilla bean oh wow you really can right look at there. that
despite it, it's not his thing, but being honest, Brooks is kind of a meat snob. Yes. And, uh, well, he doesn't really get the whole plant-based thing, so a little less open-minded than I am. I liked it. The flavor for me was good. I really enjoyed it. Creme brulee, it's awesome. Truly creamy, smooth, not gritty. Uh, perfect flavor. Emily's going to be really happy when we show up kind of unannounced with the rest of ours. So, two thumbs up, A plus for a local goat. Yes. Final thoughts from the local goat. I have to say that for me, local goat, first time we came, honestly, we didn't enjoy it that much. Since we've been coming back, we have really, really enjoyed it every time, <laughs> and it just seems like it gets better all the time, so we really, really enjoy Local Goat. Greatest of all time? I would say so in this area, and especially if you look in the parking lot. Don't let the parking lot deter you from coming in, though. You can make reservations online, so keep that in mind as well. You can go to the website, and then it will tell you on Google, it will offer you to reserve online so keep that in mind that's always an option especially if you kind of know when you're going to be here so that's something to keep in mind but now as far as the food i will say for me the plant-based burger was not my thing and that's only because i'm big on texture and i'm big on meat um that's nothing against the plant-based burger itself but I, it's kind of an acquired taste I would have to say Christy really enjoyed it uh, everything that comes with it though as far as the aioli the barbecue all that very good my tuna was very good it's a meaty fish it has no fish taste at all it's very meaty and I enjoyed that the glaze on it's perfect the baked potato was great sauteed spinach very good uh, and then creme brulee for dessert creme brulee is one of those things that it's easy to mess up this was classically done the vanilla bean you can see in the bottom of the of the dish so and we've got that to take home for Emily so we know she's going to be happy with that overall this is always two thumbs up here at Local Goat, and that's what we want you to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the video. Go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun. It is free to do so. If you'll do so, go ahead and do that right quick. Hit that subscribe button, and make sure that you comment below. What would you think? Would you get a plant-based burger here? What would you do? So, overall, like I said, I can't think of anything else except for ringy dingy school is always in with us so make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know every time we've got new content posted and guys we have social media we're going to pop that up on the screen here yep we'd love to join you over on have you join us on facebook tiktok or instagram yes absolutely so we're going to keep you up to date on what's going on around here so of course for now she's christy and i'm brooks we just want to say god bless you we love you and we can't wait to show you what's next have a great day y'all
Christy and I are both so thankful for your support here on YouTube. And now that we've hit 5,000 subscribers, we want to give back to you guys. And how we're going to do that on this video is we're going to give someone on an upcoming live stream the opportunity to win a $50 gift card here to the local Goat in Pigeon Forge. The only thing that we want you to say on the video here is we want local Goat. And make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you'll have the opportunity to win. Do both of those things. And like I said, we will give this away on an upcoming live stream. Again, God bless you all and thank you all so much. We'll see you next time. Thank you.